Uh, meanwhile, the president is due to touch down in Phoenix tomorrow for another campaign style rally. Chief or city leaders there asked him not to come, but everything remains on schedule. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan is live in Phoenix ahead of the president's visit to talk about why that city is racing for the potential of big trouble. Dave. Well, Lena and Jeff, we're right in the middle of downtown Phoenix on what is apparently a pretty normal, quiet Monday night. The only thing hot here right now is the temperature. But that could be changing soon because tomorrow, thousands of demonstrators and protesters are expected to take to the streets with conflicting points of view on President Trump. Very conflicting. So we'll find out what happens tomorrow. But in the meantime, there's a lot of concern here in the city. The evening before President Trump's visit and rally in Arizona, the streets of Phoenix were quiet. But behind the scenes, pro and anti Trump groups and organizations are urging their supporters to show up in force on Tuesday to greet the president. He's had a couple of tough weeks with the North Korea stuff going on and then <clears throat> the racial problems in Virginia. Has that had any impact here in Arizona? No, sir, I don't believe so. We are fully behind our president. We're grateful for the opportunity to welcome him to Arizona. He loves Arizona, and we love him, and, and we're grateful that he's chosen this as his first West Coast appearance. Arizona's Republican chairman hopes this will be an opportunity to register more Republicans in what's already a red state. But Pastor Warren Stewart, who is one of the leaders of a peaceful march in opposition to President Trump, says he hopes the world is watching. What message? Do you want to send the rest of America with your march tomorrow? That we are better together. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., 50 years ago, wrote a book called Where Do We Go From Here? Chaos or Community. We are for community. So far, the Trump administration has been all about chaos. Charlottesville, chaos. The wall, chaos. Uh, on and on, his, his actions, his words are about chaos. We're about community bringing this nation together. The mayor of Phoenix, who recently urged the president not to hold the rally in Phoenix so soon after the deadly Charlottesville racial confrontations just over a week ago, is now urging the demonstrators to stay cool on what's expected to be a very hot day. As mayor of the city of Phoenix, I am expecting you to be civil, respectful, and peaceful. And the police chief of Phoenix says her department will be out in force as well to keep the peace. We are well, well prepared. We will have maximum staffing during the visit. We've been working 24-7 since we found out that President Trump was visiting us in the area. Well, on top of all that, to add to the mix, there is another possible uh, source of controversy, great controversy. The rumor has been for the past week or so that when the president comes here, he may pardon former Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio, a controversial figure, to say the least. Arpaio was ordered by a judge to stop targeting Latino drivers for traffic stops, but apparently violated that order. There's the question of whether he should be pardoned or not. I talked to Arpaio tonight. He said he hadn't heard anything from the administration doesn't know anything about it, but is that because they're just trying to keep the surprise? We'll find out tomorrow. We're live in Phoenix. Back to you.